What's going on, everybody? I'm not in the best moods right now, but I thought I should share with you guys, man. One thing that has to be addressed and understood is that whenever you raise a livestock, such as chickens, um, you're going to lose some of the predators, unfortunately. And that's exactly what's transpired, you know, on the farm. Um, unfortunately, man, we lost about five or six chickens uh, just the other day. Um, I didn't have time to, to film it, but there's still some proof of the uh, aftermath, man. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's going on. Man, it was a massacre, man. You see chicken feathers spread out through the yard. There goes some guts. I mean, it's everywhere, guys. Some more guts, some more feathers spread out all throughout the yard, man. Some more over here. Look at that, man. Somebody was having a feast took advantage of my mistakes man so basically what happened guys as you can see right here this is where we see this patch this square patch that's my chicken tractor right there as you can see now I have it fenced in with electrical wire which I should have done and I took it very lightly and I thought you know you know it wasn't gonna happen to me but it did and you know they hit me when it was when I was least expected and you can see this hole right here, man. This is where this chicken tractor was. You can see this hole, whatever it was. I believe it was a, uh, a pack of raccoons, man. They came in, dug this hole, this trench, right up under that chicken tractor right there. And they were just snatching chickens out, man. I mean, it's feathers, guts, everywhere. Um, so, to combat that, you know, you have to put a security blanket around your chickens you know what i mean and you know i i know that and that's why i'm so upset with myself but it happens man you know it, it happens to everybody it just you know gives you a little bit more insight on you know what's out there and that you know chickens are really you know all predators favorite meal you know even us as humans you know everybody likes chicken so why wouldn't a, a hungry animal um come and try to have a nice little quick meal so like I said, man, right here, I got this this fence from Premier One. Shouts out to them. Um, and I got it charged up, you know, with uh, a 12-volt battery. I got an Energizer, IntelliShock 10. And you see that green light? That means it's, it's, it's pretty much charged pretty good. I got my ground rod set. And then I got my connector to the fence, so... Anything that comes and tries to infiltrate uh, or get inside or get to my chickens, you know, they got to meet this electric fence. And, you know, I think this is going to be, you know, uh, the best safety precaution moving forward, you know, raising my, raising my chickens now. My older chickens, you know, I don't have that problem because they are fenced in and I have dogs or whatnot. Um, but, you know, these little guys were pretty much defenseless and I neglected them. So, you know, we're going we gonna to prevent that moving forward, man. But, you know, it's just a learning lesson, man. You know, um, I took it hard, like I said, pause, because it's something that I knew and I totally neglected it, thinking that it wasn't going to happen to me, and it, it did. So, yeah, it, it was crazy, man, you know. Lost about four or five, six chickens, I believe. Uh, I haven't really did a head count but i can just pretty much see all the different uh feathers scattered out and and uh remains so let this be a valuable lesson a learning tool for myself and to uh pretty much give you guys a little bit of advice if you're raising chickens make sure you got some type of barrier or perimeter defense whether there's you know electric fence or if you have livestock guardian dogs uh, which I do have, but they're up, you know, guarding my other chick, my my uh, my uh, adult chickens right now because, you know, those guys are producing eggs and, and whatnot. So, yeah, man, I thought I should share that with you guys, man. You know, unfortunately, you know, I had to learn the hard way, but we're going to keep it rolling, man. Peace.